Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks for joining. Today we are going to talk about windows. You may think that looking at windows they look so very simple and that was always my belief but windows are one of the most important architectural elements in your house. Poorly designed windows will make your house look like an absolute monstrosity. If your windows are too big for the house or if your windows are too small for your house or you have the wrong types of windows that will completely interfere with your enjoyment of your living space for example you can have windows that are at the wrong height you can have windows that are too big you can have windows that are too small sometimes you can have windows in the wrong places and those will interfere with the way that you enjoy your house for example you may have windows in your living room that are at the wrong place and because of that your living room furniture things like your television and your couches and so on can't be fitted in those areas simply because of where your windows are your windows may also allow too much light in at certain places and not enough light in at other places because they are wrongly placed there is also the matter of privacy badly placed windows will interfere with the enjoyment of your living space because they may allow people who shouldn't be looking into your house to be seeing into your house they may also prevent you from seeing outside into areas areas where you would prefer to have a line of sight so privacy issue is also another area where you need to consider when you are placing your windows in your building and of course let us not forget that properly placed window that gives you an absolutely beautiful view from your house is one of the shall we say the hallmarks of your building is one of the things that you really really want when you are building you want a really great view you from your living room or might be your bedroom or somewhere like that but you are going to want to place your window in such a way that you will be able to enjoy the views that you get from your windows there can be a whole lot of negative effects if your windows are not properly installed or if your windows are not properly designed we're going to talk about first of all the various types of windows we're going to talk about where you can put those windows where they should go and lastly we are going to talk about the materials that make your windows because that is just as important but before we do that we are going to ask you as usual to subscribe to the channel most people who watch the videos do not subscribe so we're going to ask you to subscribe to the videos and do not forget to hit the like button as well if you like what we're doing and also hit that notification bell so you will be notified when my next video comes out for our purposes we're going to discuss seven types of windows we're going to talk about the slider window the casement the double and the single hung, the awning slash tilt, uh, the pivot, the jealousy or louver, and the ever popular picture window. Now, the slider window is the single most popular window in the Caribbean. And indeed, it is one of the most popular window that is used in North America and many, many other places. The reason for that is actually very, very simple. It is a very cheap window to produce. It is easy to install. It takes a very small amount of space in fact it takes up the minimal amount of space that is possible for a window to take up and it is very very easy to operate the slider window is a simple window it consists of two sashes and the sashes slide across each other and they slide horizontally so left to right or right to left in many instances only one sash will slide and the other slash will be fixed this is a very easy type of window for somebody who is over Older to operate because it is a simple sliding motion it does not take a lot of upper body strength to slide a window open and that is important for people who are getting older or who may have arthritis or have limited movement in their hands or something like that or somebody who just maybe a little bit shorter and may have issues with operating say a double hung window where you have to pull on a latch and then push it or something to that effect and just like any other type of window you can get these windows in double pane glass single pane glass depending on where you're putting them and what is the purpose just depending on where you want to put them and of course just like any modern window the panes can be made from acrylic and of course the window frames can be made from pretty much any normal material that you would use to make window frames such as wood or plastic or aluminum or any other type of relatively suitable metal now because the double hung and single hung window is 
essentially a slider window that has been turned 90 degrees so instead of sliding left to right you have the panes or the slashes sliding up and down you are going to have essentially the same function of the window in that you will have either two sashes sliding in a trap but they will slide up and down or you will have a single sash either the top or the bottom sliding so in the case of your single hung window you are going to have only one sash sliding and that can either be the top or the bottom so if the bottom sash slides the advantage of having that you can simply have a small opening at the bottom or as wide as you want or as small as you want depending on the amount of ventilation that you want to have if the window is a double hung window then both sashes will slide you can have both sashes slide to meet each other halfway now studies have shown that this is actually very good for ventilation in that cooler air will come in through the lower opening of the double hung window and warmer air will then exit through the upper opening of the double hung window the issue that you're going to have with single and double hung windows is that they're just a little bit more expensive than your normal sliders because the manufacturer and design is a little bit more involved you are going to have to have mechanisms for closing the window you are going to have to have mechanisms for having the window only partially closed you will also need some way of opening the window which is going to be by some mechanical mean other than simply sliding it up and down for example you may need cogs or you may need some sort of a pulley system to pull the sashes back and forth and to close them and of course the frames are going to be a little bit more involved because of the sort of mechanism that is going to be needed for them to slide up and down now in both the double hung and the single hung window and the slider window you are going to have a little bit of leakage of air it is not airtight and this is not ideal in a situation where you may have something like a storm because then you're going to have air that will find its way in through the sections where the windows overlap in both your double hung single hung and your slider window so they are not airtight also in a situation where you're trying to be as efficient as possible with your air conditioning this might not be the ideal situation but it is not really a deal breaker it is more of an issue in colder climates where you are trying to heat the house and you have cold air coming in from outside and that will affect the efficiency of your heating but in a hot climate where you're simply trying to cool it this is really not that big a deal and just like your sliders any material the normal materials that you would use to make your slider are the same material that you would use to make your double and single hung windows of course your double hung windows as we mentioned before are going to be a little bit more expensive than your single hung windows and those are going to be a little bit more expensive than your basic slider one advantage that i should mention about your double and single hung windows however is that as a general rule they can be made quite narrow and therefore they are a little bit more versatile in terms of where they can go and in the areas that they can be placed they don't take up any other space than what would normally be taken up by an actual wall they do not extend into the interior of the house and the advantage of that is that you can have say your security grill on either side of your double hung single hung or your slider windows now let us talk a little bit about casement windows casement windows are my personal favorite types of windows i love casement windows a casement window is a window that is hinged at the side you are going to have one or two sashes each sash is going to be hinged at the side it's going to open like a barn door opens to the right and left this sort of window is in my opinion one of the most versatile and the most beautiful type of windows there is it also provides the most ventilation that you can have in any type of window or the size of the window because there is nothing to obstruct the outside air from coming right into your house you do however need to have lots of space on the outside where the window opens so that it is not obstructing any walkways it is not at head height where somebody may hit their head as they walk around even if it is at that height it is not being obstructed by any outside elements such as a tree shrubbery bushes that sort of thing casement windows are a little bit limited 
limited in where they can go because of those aforementioned issues. But as I said, they are absolutely beautiful. They are extremely versatile and they add a certain amount of architectural elegance to most buildings. Casement windows usually have a winder, so they tend to be a little bit on the more expensive side. Just like most other windows, the frames are going to be made from specific types of plastic, painted metal or aluminum, or some sort of weather resistant wood such as cedar or treated pine. They are a very secure type of window because as the window closes, each sash is going to be locked into the frame at the top and the bottom. For someone who has limited mobility in their hands or limited strength in their hands, because the window is a cramped window, they are very, very easy to open and to close. The only issue that you may have with some windows is because of the latching. The window may individually latch at the top and the bottom, but they do have windows that do latch and the bottom with a single mechanism from the bottom of the window. So that really is not that big an issue. Now we get to a type of window that is really not very common in the Caribbean, but is becoming a little bit more common. And that window is called an awning window. Now an awning window, just while looking at it, in many instances, looks like a double or a single hung window in that there can be one or two sashes. And uh, in those two sashes, one of the sash may open or both sashes may in fact open. The thing with an awning window, it has a specific purpose. It enables you to open the window when it is raining without getting rain inside of your building. The awning window is generally hinged at the top of the sash and opens outwards, hence the name awning. They are simple windows. They many times come in single sashes or banks of two or three. So you can have three sashes, one above the other in a single bank, or you can have banks of sashes lined up side by side to form a row of windows. So they are very simple windows to manufacture. They do allow a certain amount of ventilation, although not as much as you would get with a double or a single hung window or a slider or even a casement window, because being an awning, it is limited only to that amount that it pivots outwards from the bottom of the window. Again, made from your normal material, except that wood is generally a very easy material to use for the frame of this type of window. Now, staying on the topic of windows that tilt, you have a window that is actually called a tilt window. It is exactly like an awning window, usually looks exactly the same, except that it is hinged at the bottom of the window and the top section of the window tilts inwards. As you can imagine, you would not want the window to tilt outwards because say you have the window open and it begins to rain, you are actually directing rain inside of your building. So it is generally never tilted outwards. Of course, it has the disadvantage of taking a bit of space on the inside of your building. So you are going to have to think about where that window will go. Generally, you can have that window in a bathroom because a bathroom window is totally out of the way. So the amount of space that it will occupy inside of your building is negligible and will in fact have no effect on your utility at all. Another very common type of window is called a pivot window. The window is hinged toward the center of the sash and the window simply pivots in the frame around the center axis. And these windows can pivot horizontally or vertically. The downside to having these windows, however, is the fact that they are occupying space on both the inside and the outside of your building. So you have to be very careful where these windows are installed because of that issue. The upside to these windows, of course, is that they allow maximum ventilation. In fact, they allow pretty much when they're opened, just as much ventilation as your casement window. So if ventilation is what you're looking for, but you are looking for the styling of a pivot window, then you can go for a pivot window. You know, they look just as good. Depending on the type of window, they can be a little bit pricey. If they are horizontally hung, then they can be very, very pricey because then the entire weight of the window, especially if it's a double or a triple paned window, the entire weight of the window will be on those two small pivots at the side of the window. The other thing too is that these windows tend to have very, very thick window frames because of the way that they work. So that is another thing.
thing that you have to think about. A properly designed pivot window, however, is extremely easy to open. One of the easiest windows to open and close because, of course, they are balanced. So it takes a minimal effort to simply flip that window sideways, push it out or pull the top down if it is operated by a cord or pull it back down because, of course, the weight is so very, very evenly balanced at both sides of the window frame. Ah, now we come to an old favorite, the Jealousy or the Louvre window or what some people like to call the plantation shutter type window. This window can either be mechanically operated to open and close or it can be fixed at an angle of somewhere usually around a 45 degrees. This type of window is very popular in industrial type buildings and schools but they can also be used used in houses depending on the design of the window and depending on the material that they are made from they can be quite attractive the issue that a lot of people have with these windows is they are a little finicky for example if they are made from glass they are inserted into little frames at the side which essentially makes it into a series of pivot windows so you'll have 20 or 30 panes of pivot windows usually about six to seven inches wide and inserted inserted into the frames at the sides and usually operated by a crank or a simply flip up switch. The issue that you have with them if they are made from glass is they tend to be extremely heavy. They do not sit very securely in those little frames that they are inserted into. They break very easily. There is very very little security from those windows. They can actually be quite dangerous for children. Materials range from wood to glass to aluminium sheets. With stamped aluminium, you can get a very, very secure window. A very airtight, completely airtight as a matter of fact. But they are not very attractive. They look very industrial. Unless you are going for that industrial look in your building or you are putting this in something like a storeroom, well, where the look does not matter that much, then you are going to want to avoid that type of window. One upside to these windows, however, is that because of the design if they are the aluminum or the stamped metal type is that they are airtight and will resist uh, hurricane winds way more than say a glass window or any other type of window they can be very secure if they're made from wood in many instances these are used on the outside of a casement window in the case of a storm they can simply be closed just like your casement window and uh, lashed and they provide a very good protection or louvre windows used to be common and pretty much ubiquitous everywhere back in the day in the 70s in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Not so much now. Finally, we get to the picture window. It is a large frame of glass and you usually install this in some section of your house where you have a great view and you simply wish to frame that beautiful view so you can have an unobstructed view of the view, so to speak. And that is all there is to it. However, a picture window can be used in conjunction with many other types of windows. The frames can be made from your normal material, wood, metal, aluminum, plastic, as long as it's appropriate. You can have your windows being double glazed, single glazed, depending on what you're trying to achieve with your window. So, okay guys, we've talked about the windows, the different types of windows, the different designs of windows, where they can go. Some windows are suitable for some places, some windows are not suitable for some places. Your slider window is suitable for pretty much anywhere, uh, in your kitchen, in your living room, in your dining room, and even in your bathroom because you can have a long narrow sliding window in your bathroom. Your casement window, usually not very suitable for a bathroom area. Double or single hung windows, those can go into bathrooms, but they are usually not inserted into bathrooms. They are pretty much suitable for anywhere else. Your awning or your tilt or your hopper window those are also suitable for bathrooms but they can also be installed pretty much anywhere that you think you would want them or you have this space to put them so can your pivot window your jealousy or louver window that is also suitable for your bathroom and again that can be put anywhere where you think architecturally it can be installed but as i said not a great window for some things they can be used as accents for other types of windows or 
start to accentuate some other things but again it depends on the design that you are trying to use your picture window as we have discussed great window for framing a beautiful view well guys thanks for watching that is going to do it for this video our next video is going to be about the type of glass i think it's going to be about nine types of glass that we have that are generally used in windows so our next video is going to be about glass so again guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get your updates and as usual you all have a great day